In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to create a timeline interaction for e-learning. A timeline is the perfect way to break down events and periods in history, a step-by-step -step process, and more. Interactions like a timeline can be created with iSpring Visuals, a component of the fully packed iSpring Suite authoring toolkit. In the Quick Start window, you'll see your recent projects and a list of interactions you can create. Let's click Timeline. I want to create a timeline of the Presidents of the United States, so I'll give it a title here. The timeline will be broken down into periods, which in turn are broken down into events. Let's call this first period Early Republic. In the area below, you can add a description of this period using a rich text editor that has all the familiar features you need. You can change font and style, color and alignment, plus add bulleted lists, hyperlinks, and even pictures, videos, flash movies, and audio. Before we start adding presidents, let's create an introduction. This slide contains the same rich media features described earlier. Now let's go back to our first period and add an event. This, of course, will be George Washington. Using the tools I showed you before, I've added a nice quote in script font, an image of Washington, and plenty of useful information with hyperlinks. Ready for John Adams? Just click Add Event again and continue the process. When you're ready, add a new period. As you can see, it's automatically color-coded to distinguish it from the other periods in your timeline. You can change this color to whatever you like by clicking the drop-down, which opens a standard Windows color selector. Use the same process to fill in the details. With this fast and easy process, adding even 44 presidents takes no time at all. You can see how your timeline looks at any time by clicking the preview button. There's a more advanced preview available after publishing, so let's see how it looks. Here in the Publish window, we can give our timeline a title and choose a destination folder. Now let's choose an output format. Combined Flash plus HTML5 mode is the safest choice for widest compatibility, but HTML5 works just about everywhere, so let's use that. You can also offer this timeline on iSpring Play, the free mobile app that allows your users to save content on their tablets and smartphones for offline viewing. When you're ready, click Publish. Now the preview window will pop up. Let's browse around a little bit and get a feel for this interaction. You can easily jump around to different events and periods just by clicking them on the timeline below. You can also see how your timeline looks on different devices. This preview window is a great jump off point for opening your timeline in a browser, accessing the files, sharing it instantly via email, or uploading it to your website via FTP. Did you like this video? Give it a like and subscribe to the iSpring YouTube channel for more updates.